Hi guys, so Boris Johnson won his confidence vote, but the result was extremely damaging to the Prime Minister. 40% of his parliamentary party voted against him. This is bigger than the rebellion Theresa May experienced in 2018. Some months later she resigned, and this is on par with Margaret Thatcher in 1990, who was later forced out. Johnson tried to sell this as a vindication of his role as Prime Minister in this car crash of an interview. Have a listen. You say you want to focus on those issues. 148 yes. MPs on your own side are against you. They're going to be dragging you through yeah. the mud. How can you possibly Possibly's. govern with those numbers? Look, look, you really think that's a good result? I do. I, 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 it's I, a good I, result. I, I certainly think it is, because don't forget that, uh, you know, when I first stood to be uh, leader of the Conservative Party in 2019, I didn't get anything like uh, that much uh, support from my, my colleagues in, in Parliament. Uh, we're, we're, we're Which is a lie. <laughs> Obviously, he has to lie, always lying. In 2019, he ran against Jeremy Hunt, who was the former Health Secretary, and Johnson won 66% of the vote. Okay. In his confidence vote on Monday, he received 59%. So he received less. And this was after he had removed people from the party who had disagreed with him. Okay. And he had also uh, asked MPs who were um, you know, people who, who were joining the party to sign a pledge of support. So these are people. So he had removed people he disagreed with. He had added people who would agree with him and would have to put it in writing. And there were 170 of these MPs on the payroll as well. So this is actually a worse result than, of course, it's a worse result than his victory back in 2019. That and uh, what we have now is an opportunity to put behind us all the stuff, as I say, that uh, people in the media like going on about. And it, oh, I think the, the, there's a difference in, in the category of conversation. I know that you know, people want to talk about stuff that goes on at, at Westminster. What I want to talk about is what we as a government are, are doing so you to help So you can ignore people. those entities. And right? no, what we're going to do now is take the opportunity to unite and deliver. <laughs> unite and deliver. Unite? Well, you're not united because you can see here it's clearly not the case. And deliver what? You were supposed to deliver Brexit and you didn't deliver Brexit. Th that was your primary goal, get Brexit done. And we're still talking about Brexit. Now this, of course, Johnson is trying to reach out to voters here, but the problem is not the voters. The problem is his own party because it was not voters that were that delivered this result. It was members of his own party. And they are the ones who will decide Boris Johnson's future, not the voters at this moment, his own party. And as I was making at the time of making this video, there was news that members of the cabinet are considering resigning. And we should hear about that on Tuesday morning. Uh, it's just a rumor at the moment, so I don't know when at the moment of making this video, it, it was just a rumor. But on Tuesday, we should know a bit more. But if ministers resign, if members of the front bench resign, Johnson will be days away from resigning himself. He can't lose ministers and replace them. It would be a facade, it would be a, a, a shambles. Um, he will go after that. So if it's true that these ministers are going to resign, Boris Johnson himself will resign within days. If it's not, then we can give him another few weeks, maybe even a few months. But more than that, no, he will not be prime minister. He will not be prime minister going into the next election. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.